Are you going to take me on a ride? Jump on board. Where am I going to sit? Oh! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. We've parked up in a lovely wild meadow for this week's vlog. Uh, we wanted to start this week's vlog by saying a huge thank you to everybody for all of your love and support from last week's video. Lovely comments. Thank you so much. If you didn't watch it... We're expecting number two. If you haven't seen the video, go and watch it somewhere up here. We roped in our very good friend, Jake, and I think it was a sweet video. So many of you guessed. There were loads of comments from people thinking that it could be baby number two. And you were right. So well done, detectives. There was a few comments from the wedding video saying, oh, I feel as though Megan was a little bit pregnant there. <laughs> Some of you have also commented saying because we said it's due later this year oh yeah um many of you think it's december it's actually november it's actually due around jamie's birthday very close to my birthday oh i've been bitten oh dear um so we could have two two of the same birthday yeah two scorpios saying that rupert was due on my 30th birthday and that didn't happen yeah it was early so it might so, be finger... october no could, fingers crossed it could it's still be scorpio yeah. he'll be a scorpio why don't we say he as well? Oh, <laughs> <We'd> <laughs> we no pretend idea. it's a he. We're going for what was the name? Are we going for Colin? No, I feel as though we came up with a different name. No, come on. We need write in the comment section what the nickname should be for number two until he or she is born. Um, we don't know the gender. I am, however, convinced that this is another boy. You are just from sort of like pregnancy symptoms. How I've been feeling. It's been very, very similar to Rupert. Oh, you're going to have to hold the phone already. My arms, my arms. Here we go. Me. It's a little bit further away from me as well. That's better. So being pregnant with a toddler, mm -hmm. that's been wild. And moving house. We've we put a lot on our plates. Yeah. It's been um, a crazy ride these last few months. Which is why we have been hiding this little secret for some time. Because mm. um, we are, in fact, halfway through the pregnancy. Yeah. Which is a scary, scary thought. There's not many months left of us just being a three. Yeah. Um, we just got used to getting our sleep back. I know, and our lives back. Going out for date nights. Yeah. Putting Rupert in bed at seven, having our evenings. Sometimes having to wake him up at seven in the morning. That's all going to change again. I feel as though me and Rupert are going to... I mean, we're close anyway, but me and him are going to get super close because you're going to be with baby all the he's, time. He's going to be your responsibility. Yeah. I don't think we clarify. Did we just clarify... <laughs> We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. No, we don't. We I keep saying him because we think it's a him, <laughs> but we do not know. We it have could no be a little idea. girly. I feel like the symptoms of being the same. If we're going to play the old wives' tale game, which you hate because you think it's utter nonsense. Because it is. Um. Yeah. I at the beginning I was craving more like salty foods, mostly ham. Ham. Yeah. That was it. But since then I've moved on to sweet foods. So both, sweet and salty. And with Rupert, I was more sweet. But I know with boys, they say salty, so. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> who who are of, they? What a load of rubbish. <laughs> the forums. Um, I'm carrying the bump exactly the same as Rupert, but maybe that's just my body. Because again, they say girls are higher. I didn't have any nausea with either pregnancy, so that I am very, very grateful for. Although this time around, the two, two new things that I have had, one, pregnancy insomnia, which, let me tell you, is a real thing. First trimester, I think I probably slept on average two hours a night. Yeah, you didn't sleep much. It but then was you, horrendous. And that was on top of not sleeping much anyway. Because yeah. Rupert was sleeping through, but then you weren't. You were just used to not sleeping. So, yeah, pregnancy mm. insomnia has really hit you. Oh, yes. It's much better now. Since going into the second trimester, I'm sleeping a lot better. I also think it's because it coincided with me stopping breastfeeding. So we found out I was pregnant while I was still breastfeeding Rupert. So that has now come to a complete end. Mm. Um, we were only, I was only doing one tiny feed a day anyway. So I feel like my hormones were just doubly crazy. I had like the pregnant, uh, pregnancy hormones. I had breastfeeding, breastfeeding hormones. So all of that happening in my body. No wonder I wasn't sleeping. I feel like everything was just a little bit up in the air. And the second symptom I've had this time around, I didn't really have that much with Rupert, is um, there's a condition. It's got a name. I'll put it on the screen. I'll Google it. It's when your mouth feels um, really metallic. So it's like you're Ooh. sucking on pennies. 
And it's a really common thing that can happen in early pregnancy. Oh, it means a girl. I don't know what that means. What does it mean? Let us know. Uh, but uh, thankfully that's gone as well. When Once the second trimester hits, we're, we're all good now. Feeling better. We're feeling Sleeping so much, much better. better. Yes. No planes. There's no planes here. Well, actually there are. In the daytime, there's fighter jets, which Rupert loves. Yeah. Fighter jets going over. So we're six weeks in to um, life in Norfolk. We are, yeah. Country bumpkins, look at us. <laughs> Check us out. <laughs> I actually had to nip back to London yesterday. Yeah. Um, well, this week, when you watch this, it was a flying visit. Um, I was in and out very, very quickly, but I, I was so emotional. It made me realise that my mind and my body are still in St. Margaret's. Yeah. I just haven't left yet. I felt like I like was a at here. home. Oh, it feels like a holiday here, yeah. yeah. Because the weather's nice and I just feel like we're going back. So I was in St. Margaret's and I didn't have a home to go to. And it was really weird and really sad. Um, but anyway, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll get used to it soon. It's only been six weeks. It has, yeah. But just being real and honest for a minute, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. I think my immediate reaction when I found out that I was pregnant was shock. It was, can I say dread? I feel awful for saying that. N nervous. Mm. Ner nervous and apprehensive let's let's go with that um very nervous and very apprehensive just because even though we are obviously over the moon so excited um you know we we're really excited that rupert's going to have a sibling and you know they're hopefully going to get on and not kill each, kill each other uh rupert was just such a difficult baby um you those of you who have watched our journey for you know over the years and you followed us all through those sort of newborn days and weeks and months. We just found it incredibly tough. Um, the sleep was horrendous. Rupert had colic. He had reflux. Mm. He had tongue tie. He was premature. You know, just we had everything thrown at us those first sort of 12 to 18 months. I don't see how we found the time to record videos. Looking no. back, I think we probably should have taken a little time off. But <laughs> you all know it was it was a tough time. Yeah. And I feel as though you get to a point because in that you're like, why would anyone want? I mean, I remember saying it. Why would anyone ever want to have a second? And put yourself through it again. <laughs> I know. Once you know what it's like, but you start to forget. You do start um, to forget. We feel very fortunate that we have got another one on the way. Yeah, but no, I am nervous. Mm -hmm. um, not nervous about the labour. Rupert was a good labour, but I'm very nervous about those newborn months. Is your arm hurting? Do I swap? <laughs> Can I I'll swap. I'll hold it for a minute. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I should have had my tripod. So if anyone's got any tips for two, they're not quite, they're not going to be two under two. Um, Rupert will be two. Two and a month. No, no two, two and, two and two three months. months. Two well, months. two and two months, two and three months. I think there's, there's some milestones when you have um, a kid in general, like potty, bed. There's a few things that were coming up and we were like, we'll get them sorted in summer. And now we're kind of like, we probably should get them sorted before baby two comes. Yeah, but we're, we, we've got to pick pick your time carefully yeah. because you don't want to rush it. And then he gets scared and Rupert freaks out and he's not ready for a bed and he's not ready for the... Well, he's definitely ready for the potty. He's been he's, amazing on the potty. He's so good. Thank you yeah. for all your tips and advice. He is. He's doing really well. Um, so we're very proud of him for that. Also feeling a little bit apprehensive that we don't have a house of our own to move into before we have a baby. Uh, but we kind of thought... There's so much going on. We need to, something's got to give. Throwing a house into the mix is just, I think, one just, step too far. I just don't think we need that right now. Um, so we're going to get the winter out of the way and go again next spring. So we're going to bunker down in Norfolk? Is that what it's called? Oh, I don't know. Hunker down? One of those ones. We're going to be in Norfolk when the baby arrives. Yes, we are. But saying that, if our dream, dream house came on the market tomorrow, or we found a piece of land that we love, that we'd love to sort of build on. We looking. would we would still go for it, don't get us wrong. Um, we haven't given up the search. No, we haven't. It's not that we've given up. It's just not at the top of our to-do list, No, is it? Um, but we'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled. We also wanted to share with you a little bit from behind the scenes of last week's video, because some of you will remember the video that we made for Rupert when we announced Rupert during lockdown. So yeah, that was- On a, Mother's Day. 
England, yes. mo English Mother's Day oh, we announced it. Oh, I was actually talking about um, telling the friends and family. But oh, you're right, okay. it was the Mother's Day video. That was the equivalent. Oh. Well, we did something special for Rupert, so we wanted to do something special for this baby so we can look back and, um, yeah, just enjoy the fond memories. So it was a lot of fun uh, driving in the car. The car yeah. was so cool, heading to the beach. Um, so we did record some behind-the-scenes footage, which we'd love to share with you because... It was a lot of fun. It so was good. Here it is. So Jamie and I are still very much living out of boxes. We just haven't gotten around to unpacking much. So I thought I'd currently show you the state of our storage. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh wow. That is crazy. This is why we're still all over the place. So at the moment, I am searching for a picnic basket because we're doing some exciting filming today, which we're going to show you on Friday. So it's going to be a tight turnaround, um, but it's a lot of fun. We're heading to the beach this afternoon. Right, where on earth could this pic picnic basket be? I couldn't find our picnic basket, but I have found this very cute hamper. So hopefully that will do. And we're off. Whoop. We've got someone very special with us today. Hello. <laughs> Be Jake Morell. Our go-to, our go-to bestie to do all things filming for us. When our, when our videos, videos, when our videos do well online, it's normally because Jake's filmed and edited them. We've just stumbled upon the most beautiful poppy field. So we pulled over to go and take a closer look. Wow. Oh, that nearly ended in disaster. Jane was driving the car while I was flying the drone. Car almost crashed into the drone. The drones, the drone dropped heights, which is probably my fault. <laughs> almost went into the car. Oh, Jakey. Well, let's just see if it will follow me. <laughs> We're at the beach. Woo! Here we go, you in for a splash. We've just written those little words and Rue's loving putting footprints all over it. <laughs> Want to go back in the water? Come on then, go all the way. You run, run, run to the water. Jamie has just realised that he's left his phone in the car, which we need for the final drone shot. So he's going to run back grab the phone we'll send the drone up and by this point you will have all hopefully seen the video on youtube what's that coming over the hill rupert 007 007 here he comes the baywatch babe oh at least some sex pill for the rest of us mate okay <laughs> that's all now look at those moves <laughs> around this weekend. <laughs> Jamie, I think I just felt a raindrop. I, yeah. Oh, I, oh, oh my oh, goodness, it is coming. Yeah, it's coming. Okay, let's wrap this up. It's time to head in, but we hope you enjoyed that. Um, thank you all for watching. Please leave us questions in the comments section if we haven't answered anything this video um, that you'd love to know, then please leave us a question, leave us a comment. Do you think it's a boy? Do you think it's a girl? Give us some names, please. Mm, oh, names. We're struggling we need with names. names. And the final thing, a little stat for you all. Did you know that 63% of you that watch our videos aren't subscribed? I did you know aren't that. Subscribed. You knew, you knew I that. knew that. I know you knew that because you just told me two <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> so please hit the subscribe hit button. Hit the bell so you get notified when we post. And follow this crazy journey that's about to happen all over again. Craziness with the Colvins. Yep, chaos with the Colvins. Chaos, that's the one, yeah. yeah. And then Christmas at some point with the Colvins. Okay, I'm getting very wet yeah. now. Let's go before it tips it down. Can you drive us back? Thank you so much. We will see you next week. Bye. I'm just finishing the final edits to this video before it goes live. Thank you to all of you who have made it to the end of the video. I think you can all appreciate that Jake did an incredible job with our pregnancy announcement video. 
It looks incredible. We had such a fun day. Well, he has just dropped a new music video with his band, First Time Flyers, over on their YouTube account. I will link it at the end of this video. Please go over and watch it. The song Gold is incredible. The music video is just something else. We got a little sneak preview and me and Megan bawled our eyes out. It is so good, it will not disappoint. So please go over there, give them some love, drop them a comment, go and subscribe to them. They're an incredible new band. You'll be hearing a lot of them in future. I think they're gonna be big. Anyway, lots of love to you all. See you next week.